Hey everyone, so here is my booktube-a-thon experience in a variety of short clips that will be coming at you now. And I'm sitting in my room, got my blankie. Also, I'm sorry if it's really loud, but I have a fan on. It's really freaking hot and I'm still under a blanket. I don't know. But I'm over halfway done my first book. I'm on chapter 43. I'm not sure how many chapters there are because it's like one of those books that switches characters between chapters. So some of them are pretty short. And I've got the sun kind of shining in. I've got my Starbucks and my phone. And it's 4.30ish. And yeah, so I'm hoping to have this book done today. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next. I was going to read Percy Jackson. But I think that's the one I'm going to try and read without putting down. And I work tomorrow, so I can't really do that. So I'm just going to pick one tonight to start and then take to work with me tomorrow. So yeah, I will do an update tomorrow. I decided to do another update today because I finished my first book and now I'm reading my second book. I'm taking a bit... I'm just all over the place. I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at the lens. I'm just taking a quick vlog break. I'm watching a... V vlogist video, Matthew Gatos did his vlog, I just watched some booktube videos, and now if we go over here, you see my reading nest, and the second book that I'm reading, I'm already about halfway done it, and I don't think I'm going to finish it today because I've done a lot of reading today and my eyes are tired, so I think I'm going to stop pretty soon, but yeah, I just thought I'd do another update today of me slowly losing my mind, so that's it, bye! Okay, booktube update, it's about... 10.30 in the morning. I have to leave for work in about half an hour and instead of doing something important like making my lunch or doing something like that, I'm reading. Um, I'm almost finished Me and Earl and the Dying Girl and I'm gonna read Midnighters next I think because it's one of those books that I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it. So I figure if I get it out now then it'll be done. Um, maybe it'll be really great. I'm not sure but I will give you an update later today and let you know how that's going. So see you soon. Hello friends. I'm being a terrible employee and I'm reading at work. I just finished Me and Earl, finally. Oh, carrot. Sorry. Um, yeah, it took me a little while because I kept not having to do work and stuff, but I finally finished it and now I'm moving on to Midnighters, the Scott Westerfeld book that I'm reading. And it looks like it's a bit older. It's from 2004. But I'm going to start it today and hopefully get into it so I can finish it tomorrow and stay on schedule and keep going. That's about it. I'm going to keep reading now and try not to make that annoying noise anymore. Okay, bye! I can't do it anymore. It's 11 o'clock. I'm about, actually I'm about halfway done this book, but I can't. I can't. My eyes hurt too much and I need to go to sleep. This book, it's okay. It started out kind of slow um, and I think it kind of just killed my reading buzz, so I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow and then go on to a new book. So I'm gonna go to bed now because reading is hard and it makes you really tired even though you're not really doing anything and I'm gonna stop talking now and go to sleep okay right I just don't want this to be a montage of Jess not looking her best and also maybe reading so you get darkness for tonight anyway before this gets too long, I finished the last book I was reading. What was the last book I was reading? Oh, the, the first Midnighters book. It was okay. It got better near the end. Um, I might continue the series because it was just kind of like a light read. So now I'm reading Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover and so far I really, really like it. So I'm going to read it a little bit more and take it with, to work with me tomorrow and hopefully it'll be done tomorrow and I can stay on schedule. So yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you tomorrow and hopefully you'll see my face. Bye! So look, it's my face again. So it's day four and I'm on book number four. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish it today. I might fall a little bit behind, but I'm not worrying too much about finishing all seven books for this readathon. I'm really enjoying this book actually though and I wasn't really expecting it, but I'm really excited that I decided to read it. I'm just checking myself out in the reflection here. But yeah, I'm really excited that I decided to read this book because it's interesting and it's a genre that I never usually would have picked up, but I'm really excited that I did. So I'm going to keep reading this and hoping that the phone doesn't ring so I have to go back to do like work and stuff because that's stupid. Anyway, I'm going to keep reading now. I'm still reading this book. I am now officially behind on the readathon. This, I love this book and I keep reading it, but it's a much slower read than I was expecting. And there's a lot more words on the page than the last few books I've read. So that's happening. 
Anyway, I wasn't expecting to be able to read seven books this week anyways, so I'll just keep plugging along and see how I do. So I didn't film at work today because I don't really know why. I just didn't. I was too wrapped up in the end of my book. But that's exciting because that means I finished maybe someday, which means that my to-be-read pile is now smaller than my I have read pile. Or I don't know what I just said. This pile, which I haven't read yet, is smaller than this pile, which is what I have read. So that's exciting. So I started reading this today at work, the night we said yes, and so far it's okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it as much as maybe someday. It seems a little bit more teeny, but it'll be good. It'll be a nice light read to do after my heart was shattered from maybe someday. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'm on book number five on day number five. If I can somehow finish this today, I'll be back on schedule, but I doubt it. I'm okay with being behind though. I'm okay with it. So yeah, I'm gonna go keep doing that and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. So me being the ridiculous person that I am, got going on this book and now it is, uh, let's see here, 2.05 and I'm awake because I just finished this book which I ended up liking way more than I thought I was going to like and now that means I'm technically still a couple hours behind but pretty much on time for the book, uh, my words aren't working, for the book thing, for the marathon booktube thing, anyway. I'm gonna go to bed now because I have to get up in like six hours. I'll see you tomorrow when I can form words properly. Also, my dog decided to keep me company for this reading stint in the early morning hours. Isn't she cute? Look at her little face. Rufus. Oh, look at her little face. So I tried to do it I tried to read my book today and I just can't. I don't think I'll be able to read this one. I'm gonna have to pick something else. This was supposed to be my, just my book that I want to read, so I might pick something else out for my shelf. I love these books, I really do, but I just can't get into it right now. So I'll have to look at my shelf. I have a couple to choose from, I guess. But anyway, I will read some more tonight and I'll let you know what book I choose. I have made a mistake today. And that mistake is that I did not read. I decided I was going to try and read. I took the dust jacket off, don't worry. Um, the Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, and then I started doing a puzzle. And that took up a few hours of my evening. And then I drank some cider, and that took up the rest of my evening. I don't know if those words came out properly. I will catch up with you tomorrow. And yeah, I don't know what words I'm saying anymore. It's really late. Anyway. I'm just rambling now. Bye! So it's been a slow start to the day. It's one o'clock and I haven't done any reading yet. I'm actually gonna head out to our local secondhand bookstore and bring in a couple books and hopefully find a couple. And yeah, and then once I get back, I will start with Percy Jackson and hopefully not put it down. And yeah, so we'll see how that goes and I will update you later. So I failed. I feel like I totally failed. I didn't read at all today. I tried. I tried to get into it and I just couldn't. So I guess I ended Booktubeathon finishing five books, which is still better than I thought I was going to do. I'm going to finish um, and do like a whole wrap up and stuff and I'll probably put it like after this little clip here so I'll kind of go into more detail about the last couple days. But yeah, so Booktubeathon's over and now I'm going to go to sleep and probably read tomorrow because that's just the way it happens is after I don't need to, need to do it. I'll want to do it. So, I don't know. Anyway, it was quite a crazy week and I was not expecting to read this much and I'm super stoked. So, yeah, that's it for these little update videos. I'll see you soon.